Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a haul. All of this stuff is drugstore, like usual. Sorry if you hear any background sounds. Brandon's family is downstairs, and I live next to a highway, and there's like some weird, like, something happening. So, yeah, sorry about that. So, I'm going to start off with lip products. Some of these things you might have seen in like tutorials or something or like a swatch video. First two are the NYX High Voltage Lipsticks. One is in Mirage and the other one is in Tangerine. I heard that Mirage is supposed to be a dupe for Mac Myth. So there's that. really pretty. I have some comparison swatches on my Instagram or I can just quickly insert it right here of like drugstore nudes and oranges that have come out recently. And then there's tangerine. So you can definitely see that that one is more orange. They're coming up more bright than they are in person. Oh, and if you're wondering what I'm wearing on my lips, it is Maybelline Lilac Flush. And speaking of Maybelline, I got a new lipstick called Vivid Rose. This is in the Vivid Rose packaging. I just love how Maybelline has like different covers for their different lipsticks. Let's see what other colors do I have? <laughs> I just love how they have all them. So cool. It's like a little collection. <laughs> that is Vivid Rose and this is supposed to be like a dead-on dupe for the MAC Viva Glam Miley. And I figured, oh, I just, I just don't know if the color will look good on me, but it does, and I love it. It's so, like, volume, like, it looks neon on camera, which it almost is in person, but, yeah, there's that. It definitely looks neon, but, um, I can do, like, um, a lip swatch. I can insert a photo of me wearing it. And then I got the NYX Simply Vamp Lip Cream in She Double. And you guys probably saw this in my vampy um, tutorial that I had. I'll link it right here. But here is what it looks like. I love this twist up crayon type packaging. And this is a really great product. So pigmented and creamy. I love it. And it's not like too like creamy or glossy or anything. Like it's awesome. So I'll definitely have to get more of these from NYX. And then also in that tutorial I used the NYX lip liner in Plum. And it looks like this. I'll swatch it up here. It looked darker on Alta's website, but whatever. It worked decent. It worked decently for the lip color, I guess. And then the last lip product is NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Cairo. So this one's kind of more like a brownie nude, almost. Almost like a peachy brownie nude. It's looking pink on camera, but see it's kind of similar to those. Again, it's in that um, NYX swatch video that I have. And also in that Vampy tutorial, I showed the MAC pigment in Melon. I love this so much. 
So pretty. Love that. Isn't that so gorgeous? Oh, I love it. And these little ones are only $10. So that's really awesome. Definitely check that out. I got a replacement for my Real Techniques sponge because my other one was like getting too filled up with makeup and it was getting like hard and I had this for like a year so yeah it's only six dollars and um this one was like I don't know deforming so trash. Then I have the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. I wanted to try out the lighter brows for um, spring and summer. Oh yeah, and I touched up my roots finally. So yeah, that's what my brows have been looking like. They're not like dramatically different or like super light or anything, but they're just a little bit lighter than what I normally did. But yeah, I really do like this stuff. Again, this is the shade Blonde. I really like this. It's like not super pigmented, like if you already have brows, like nice brows, like good brows, and you just want to fill them in like a little bit, but you don't want it to be like super dramatic, um, then that's a really good product. Also for the brows, I got the Salon Perfect Brow Trim and Shape, uh, like eyebrow razor things. These ones are so much better than those crappy, um... The other ones that they sell at Walmart, I don't remember what brand they are, but these ones are much, much better. Salon Perfect. And it came with a blue one, too. Then, I had to go back to my favorite foundation. I'm sick of all the other ones. This one is my all-time favorite, like it always will be. The Revlon Color Stay in Ivory. This is, like, my little baby, like... No foundation can beat this. At least not from a drugstore. This is Amaze Balls. It never comes off my face. It stays on my face all day long. And it's actually light enough for my skin. So I really can't get better than that. And under that, I've been loving the number 7 Beautifully Matte Makeup Base. I've been wearing this makeup for, what time is it? Six hours now, and usually I'm a big old grease ball without this stuff, but this is my skin without touching up or blotting whatsoever, like, I mean, I'm sure I could use a little bit of blotting, but it's, it's really, this is really good stuff, like, amazing, I don't know what I was doing without this in my life, like, Blotting my face every like two hours. And then we only have a couple more products left. This is the Olay Fresh Effects Do Over Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. I showed this in my skin routine. I can link that right here. I just love this stuff. It's amazing if you have oily skin and it just gets like oily all the time and greasy and shiny. This, um, since it is gel, it kind of just soaks into the skin and doesn't lay on top so you don't look even more shiny. And it also has like um, properties in it that also kind of mattify your skin a little bit. So, so that was really awesome even when you're not wearing makeup. Like I found like even when I'm not wearing any makeup at all, my skin still gets really shiny and I don't like that. And the stuff smells amazing. And then another thing from Olay, actually, is the Wet Cleansing Towelettes for Sensitive Skin. I love these so much. These are my favorite makeup wipes of all time. I did try the Equate Beauty ones that come in a 40 pack. This, these only have 30 and they're a little bit more expensive. And I really like this um, packaging more, but I gotta say that I like these more. These are more wet and they are softer these i don't know i feel like they kind of like scratch my skin a tiny bit and i just don't like that that much especially for around the eye area just 
not a fan of scratching my face. And then I got three products from the new Garnier line. I got the Fallen Plush Ends Plumper Amplifying Leave-In Serum. This says, for visibly fuller, thicker ends, plumps thinned out ends for beautiful fullness. Has fibra, cyan, and pomegranate. So this is what that looks like. This stuff smells amazing too. Smells like candy. Garnier's products are some of the best smelling products ever. I really do like this. Like I've, I'm just, I think I've mentioned to you guys that like my hair is like kind of thinning out a little bit just from hormones and stuff. But I feel like this makes my ends feel a little bit thicker, so I like this. And even if it doesn't work, it makes your hair smell amazing. So just buy it. This product I don't really like, however. This is the new Fall and Plush Root Amp Root Lifting Spray Mousse. This is Extreme Hold. It says boost volume, no sticky way down with cotton flower extract. Actually, I feel like um, it does leave my hair a little bit sticky and like crunchy when I spray it into my hair when it's wet. And I tried spraying it into my fingers and then putting it in but it's still like I don't know it was weird it gave me volume but like under that volume was like hard crunchy little bit sticky like hair I don't know I just don't really like this I'll probably give it a few more tries but if it doesn't work I'll probably give it to someone else but that's what that looks like it's just a spray mousse it's not like a foamy type one I guess. I don't know. And then the last thing is the new deconstructed pixie play crafting cream with black fig. PC or out of bed looks. Extra strong hold. So this was extreme hold and this is extra strong hold. So this is a five and this is a three. This one has kind of an odd smell but whatever. So there's what that looks like. It's not too thick. It's not like a wax. It's definitely like a pomade. And it I use this mostly for Brandon's hair actually because he has like these little hairs that like to stick out back here and I call him bird. So he looks like a little bird. Um but I I always like put this stuff in to like smooth it down and it really does help. And it is really good with flyaways like I have like no flyaways right now and it helps if you have like weird just little hair sticking up like say that hair just would not want to go down I'd put some of this in between my fingers warm it up a little bit and just kind of smooth it down and it just stays all day long so I really like this it's, it's also good for like smoothing out your bangs or say you have like a slick back ponytail or something or if your ends are just looking a little bit frazzled or just weird. Um, yeah, this stuff is good for a lot of different things. Even if you did want to use it for, like, um, making your hair, like, PC or, you know, whatever. But I feel like that, you, you, it's harder to get the PC look when you have, like, longer hair. So maybe that aspect of it would work better for shorter hair. But I haven't really tried it on my hair, so I don't really know. So that is it. Let me know if you guys like this video. I'm going to be doing a ColourPop haul swatch review video here soon. It's coming in the mail right now and I got quite a bit of products so I'm super excited for that. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye!